Now that we've shown you how we designed our software, we want to take you through the journey of how we designed our hardware. But it's not like a coming of age type of journey. It's more like a Lord of the Rings type of story where we lost people along the way. I'm originally from the Shire. It was costly. And of course, we ended up with the ring. So we'll break this out into two parts where we'll first describe how we came up with the button design, the layouts, and what it should look like. And then the second part will be how we designed the physical remote, how we iterated through the process, and how we overcame some of the challenges like the LEDs. Let's take a look. When we began designing the Skip 1S, we had two conflicting goals. We wanted to pack in as much functionality as possible, but maintain simplicity. We eventually landed on a design that featured every important button while still seeming minimalistic. Taking our design from the imaginary world and into the real world, we see and see a block of wood bringing our design to life. We hated it. The amount of buttons, the physical design, the shape, no button to memory, tactile feedback, and inconsistent rows of buttons. Awful. So we went back to the drawing board. We started from scratch. To comply with European countries, we needed to include the four red, green, blue, yellow buttons, but that created a problem. A row of four buttons, along with rows of three buttons, broke continuity. So we got clever. Since these buttons were not commonly pressed in repetition during an activity, why not hide our four color buttons and our four button cursor? But stopping there would be premature. Rather than using static colors, we decide to leave these dynamic, allowing us to push the envelope on a remote control without a display and give us the flexibility for creativity and user feedback. But with still too many buttons, we asked a well-known firm to give us statistics on the most commonly used buttons and iterated through concepts. We kept the number pad for channel surfers, the play, skip, and previous keys for music lovers, the four corner keys, most popular for streaming boxes, and placed oddly at the bottom are two important buttons, the record and stop keys. One of our dream goals is to be able to set up the remote without a computer. We plan on bringing a feature so you can use the record and stop buttons at the bottom of the Skip 1S to learn from an already existing set of remotes without a computer. So next time you go to Gammy's house without a computer, setup should still be easy. Ecstatic with our design, it was time to bring the graphical concept to life. So in the next videos, we'll show our thought process and design decisions and talk about the struggles of bringing our concept into the real world.